Janoris Jenkins revealed he hasn't spoken to his brother since the ex-convict was charged with murdering a rap producer last month Janoris is still reeling from the shocking murder of his friend Roosevelt Renee, 25, a music producer under the name Trips Beats, whose body was found in the Giants' cornerback's basement in New Jersey on June 26 The football star's brother was arrested for Renee's murder and charged with aggravated manslaughter Janoris made his first public comments on the crime Sunday at the Giants' training facility, expressing his focus on the game rather than the murder It's shocking, but I still gotta come and play football, he said Right now my main focus is coming out and getting better every day for my teammates and stay focused Janoris added that he has not been in touch with William since the arrest. I haven't talked to him, to be honest, he said. But I will to see where his head's at. As far as that, I'm just leaving that off the field. Scroll down for video. Janoris considered Renee to be a close friend, and the two were working producing music together before the 25 year old's death. It's difficult, but at the end of the day, you gotta be a pro, Jenkins said Sunday Things gonna happen in life, some things you can't control, and it's just one of those situations William was arrested for parole violation in Ontario County, New York, just nine hours before Renee's body was discovered 300 miles away in the basement of his brother's home in Fairlawn, New Jersey Share this article share according to a complaint, the pair had been fighting before the murder occurred and that William showed extreme indifference to human life and recklessly caused Renee's death William has a criminal record in Florida dating back to the early 2000s that includes convictions for aggravated battery, grand theft, and multiple counts of burglary Renee's sister and Rabbani Linder also spoke to DailyMail.com shortly after the murder, saying that her sibling had been arguing with Janoris's brother in the days before his death Authorities said Renee was discovered by a house worker at the residence located on 14 Van Son Place in Fairlawn on June 26 Police are treating the investigation as a homicide NFL Network's Mike Garofolo reported that detectives are investigating a possible strangulation suffocation as the cause of death, citing law enforcement sources In a phone interview with DailyMail.com, Linder said her brother had moved into the home of his friend, Janoris, to work on his music, and that the football player's brother was also staying there Janoris also dabbles in music in his free time, performing under the staged name Rabbit Together, Janoris and Renee collaborated on a hip-hop track titled Hood Jump In which was released in March A photo that was posted on the producer's Instagram page around that time shows Renee sitting next to the cornerback Friday I called him and he had locked himself in the bathroom and said he had been having trouble with Janoris's brother and that they had been arguing, Linder claimed He was jealous of Janoris's friendship with my brother. The woman said she instructed her brother to speak to her in Creole in case William was listening to their conversation from the other side of the door. I FaceTimed him Monday and he looked worried, Linder said of her brother. I told him to get out of there. He had a real stress on. 
That was the last time I spoke to my brother. Linda wrote in the description of a Goffin campaign that her brother was on the verge of a major career breakthrough at the time of his death. Renee produced music for a variety of stars. The Giants cornerback was not in New Jersey at the time of Renee's death and has been staying in his native Florida. ESPN reported, citing unnamed sources, that the football star has been advised by attorneys to remain in Florida. Linder said as the only boy among seven children, Renee was universally loved and was her best friend. He never had a problem with anyone, she told DailyMail.com. Everyone loved him. Linda wrote on the Goffin page that Renee was very smart and confident, also had a smile on his face, and his greatest passion in life was creating beats. The sister said the young music producer wanted to help their family and get their mother a new car. The football star purchased the Fairlawn home for $500,000 in 2016. The Giants made generous one of the NFL's highest-paid cornerbacks in 2016 when they signed him to a five-year, $62.5 million contract with $28 million in guarantees. In 2017, Jenkins' season was ended prematurely by an ankle injury. Coming off a playoff berth and an 11-5 record in 2016, the Giants sank to 3-13 in 2017 as head coach Ben McAdoo was fired and ultimately replaced with Pat Shermer. Janaris will be answering to new defensive coordinator James Betcher this season when he returns to the field. The 29-year-old is entering his third year with the Giants. The Pahakee, Florida, native played for Florida in college before finishing his career at North Alabama.